We are live. Just waiting for Al to join. What's up, Al? Uh, Landon is not here yet. He's on his way, but he told me to start without him. So we're just going to go ahead and get going. And I am going to do this. Hell yeah. Okay, and rip Landon. <laughs> Hell yeah. There was nothing here for us to do. Except look at the, the ladder. So... Mm, where do we need to go? I don't remember where exact... Do we need to go to the prison? Nope. Nope. Oh boy, I'm on my own until Landon gets here. Um, we already went to the forensics lab. Um, there's nothing for us here at uh, Madame Tuspel's. Tuspel's. Um, I don't think we can do anything at the experimentation stage. Um, Lord Chief Justice's office? Nope. Sholmes is sweet. It's something. It's probably nothing for us here. Yeah. I dead ass do not remember what we're doing. Susato, we're what? Uh, what, 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 are, what are we doing? What are we doing? Do we need to go back here? We were already here. We talked to her. Fucker. <laughs> what a bitch. Alright, fine. I genuinely have no idea what we're supposed to do. There's probably something we're supposed to present to someone. Hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> I might be lost until Landon gets here. Um, let's... Yeah, I don't think there's anything we can... I mean, we can look at shit here, but I don't think it'll get us anywhere. Let's go do it. 
It's a shame that Sholmes isn't here. Where is he? He's with Landon. He's cheating on me. How dare he. Nothing's there, Jack. I don't Landon. know what you're talking about. Were you cheating on me? What do you mean? <laughs> I said, where's Sholmes? And Al said, he's with Landon, Kappa. Oh. Uh, yes. I have no idea where I'm going. Can you help? No. Because I can't see anything. That's true. I need to turn on my screen share. You weren't here to tell no. me, so... Well, I'll help as soon as I pull open an additional tab and turn the second screen on. Anyway... Are we supposed to present something to someone? Because I've been pretty much everywhere. Great. Ace Attorney... I guess there's shit here to examine. Are they gonna let you though? Um, I remember Von Seek saying it was cool, but I don't know. So we did all the talking at uh, we did we did all the talking at uh, the legal. Colton, uh, we, we, we did office. all the, yeah, at the office, we did uh, all the talking there. There was we, just the one thing, but yes. Yeah. And then, um, we did the talking at the prison with Hairbrain. Uh, yes. And we talked at the Lord Chief Justice office. There was no one there when we went. Strongheart should be there. He is not there. Upon arriving, see Strongheart conversing with... We did that already. Oh. Uh, oh, so we... Yeah, we already did that. And then we went the, to the forensics laboratory and examined the book. I think all of this happened in the last part. Yeah, we, we, yeah. we examined the book and then What's-Her-Name kicked us out. Okay. Um, and then... We talked to Gina in the last part, mm -hmm. um, and we examined the back of the Deborah card to find the oil stain, mm -hmm. and we presented that to Gina. Um, I don't know where Gina is right now. Okay. Uh oh. She, I, I think she already left with it, so we're good there. Okay. And then, so we're up on the platform right now. Yeah. And uh, we've just examined the birdcage, uh, and the wooden birdcage was entered into the court record. You're examining the machine right now? Yeah. Uh, okay. This feels like cutscene. Yeah. And then you already talked to Von Zeeks. Oh, yeah, I forgot that the, the masked man was uh, Kazuma, maybe. Kazuma, maybe. But probably not. Remember, he died. It's 
true. Or so we think. Um. Ah, Von Zeeks is kicking us out. And we got the photo of the Dever, uh, Dever, right? Um, I think so. Here, let me look at my core record. Uh, yeah, the Drever. Drever, yes. Sorry. <coughs> okay. So then I think you got everything you need from the platform now, because you're, okay. yeah, getting kicked out. But Landon, did you see my Shantae Steelbook box? I, I did. It's very nice. Very cool. Yeah. The only problem is that my steelbook for Seven Sirens is, like, kind of mismatched with the rest of them. Because the rest of the uh, steelbooks are all, like, monochromatic, like, single colors. Whereas the uh, Seven Sirens box has, like, full, like, colored artwork on it. Yeah, but that's the problem with... I mean, that's just the problem with this, with everyone's version. Because... This is what they did for that. Yep. But I have it now. And that's the important thing. Who's touching me? I just realized I have them out of order in the box. How embarrassing. Whoops. I. Stupid me. I put Pirate's Curse before uh, Half Genie Hero. What are you talking about? What do you mean? What oh, you mean after. Or, yeah, after. Other way around. I was going to say, if that's what it is, you have it right. But no, you have it wrong. Um... Now where? Well, do we have the special exhibit? Oh, that's part of the Wax Museum. Yeah, we want to go to... Um... Witchy moms. Al, are you disappointed in me because I had the games out of order? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. I'm a fake fan. Yeah, you are. Eek. Oh, there's Sean's here. Yep. <laughs> Back in his pose. Al said, yeah, even though I've never played a Shantae game. <laughs> God damn it, Al. Also, you should. They're on sale, like, often. And they're they're good games. <gasps> Mommy! Uh, I would recommend Pirate's Curse. Pirate's Curse is the best game. Pirate's Curse is the best game. Uh, I like Seven Sirens. Uh, Half Genie Hero is a lot of fun. Half Genie Hero is fun, but I would, I mean, like, recommend getting the, like, ultimate edition that comes with all of the different game modes. Yeah. Because, like, it's pretty short and pretty like linear but it has a lot of different like ways to play the game like the whole um the mighty switch force short <laughs> mighty switch force version is very fun risky's revenge is really good but it's really short and the first game is hard as fuck. But it's yeah, still good. It's a guide it. It's really a guide it game. Yeah. But, but I mean uh it's a Metroidvania from the early two thousands. Yeah. That was originating on the Game Boy <laughs> Color, so But yeah, if I had to recommend one to start with. Definitely Pirate's Curse. 
so we can't fuck with Sholmes. And, but we're not going to. <laughs> but where is he? <gasps> Where did he go? The there he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sholm's hype. Did she pass out? <laughs> yeah. Pirate's Curse is 20 bucks on Steam right now. Yeah... I mean, honestly, for $20, I would say it's definitely worth it, but I would wait for it. I mean, the Steam Winter Sale should be coming up soon, so... How much was it when it, on the uh, 3DS eShop when it came out? I think it was 20 bucks. Hmm. Well, either way, it's worth it. I've, oh. bought, I've bought that game probably... Like five or six different times. <laughs> it was one of my favorite games of the 2010s. And my favorite game of 2014. Yeah, Pirate's Curse is fucking fantastic. And I played it as recently as, like, last year, I think? Last year, the w whenever I got my, uh, whenever I got my copy through Limited Run, um, for the Switch, because that was when I last replayed it, and I want to say that was last year. That's a Switch version. But it's still good as fuck. They sell, um... Doesn't Pirate's Curse have, like, a retail release now? Uh... It, it had a retail release for the 3DS. Uh, it has... It had a limited run release for the Switch. Oh, okay. I see. Uh, but yeah, it was... It was originally 20 bucks, so it's just normal price right now mm -hmm. on Steam. Uh, Half Genie Hero had a had the um, had a uh, normal release. Yeah, that's uh, right. Yeah, it was um, what was it? PS4, Wii U, and Vita when it came out. Yeah, originally, and then the Ultimate Edition had a Switch and PS4 uh, release. Yeah, definitely buy, definitely get the. Uh, the ultimate edition of uh, Half Genie Hero. It's, like, worth it. What is it, like, 40 bucks? Oh, like that, yeah. Al says, I'm a true fan. Thank you, Al. But I don't have an original uh, Shantae 1 cartridge. No one does. Yeah. <laughs> they did a... <coughs> excuse me. Limited Run did a, uh, a repress oh, of that. Yeah. Like an actual, honest to goodness, Game Boy Color cartridge. I think Pixel picked it up. More, like honestly, more companies should do that. Should like do reruns of uh, how much are the original cards for Shantae One? Like, oh god, like thousands of dollars. It's yeah, stupidly rare because it was a super late era. Game Boy Color game, like it came out in 2002, and it did not sell well at all. Honestly, it's amazing that the series is as popular as it is, considering that it, uh, the first game was a Game Boy Color game that came out a year and a half after the Game Boy Advance had been out. The second game was exclusive to the DSiWare when it came out. And uh, then it somehow Pirates got a first. Sequ yeah, Pirates First was a 3DS Wii U exclusive. I mean, 3DS. 3DS when it came out. 
like when yeah. it, initial release was 3DS only, but they had planned for a Wii U release. But it's still like, yeah. Uh, didn't really have the the didn't have the reach uh, until later on. I have. Let's see. I have Shantae 1, I want to say, on my 3DS. Because that, uh, that had an eShop release, right? Uh, yeah, the Game Boy, the Game Boy version, uh, the Game Boy Color version had an uh, eShop release. Yeah. I think I own that on the 3DS, which is how I, like, first played it. Um, I own Risky's Revenge... I bought that, I like actually bought that for the DSiWare uh, back, way back then because it, like people were talking about how it was the only DSiWare game that was worth a shit. One of anyway. And uh, it was like, I want to say $10. Uh, I'm looking at some sold copies of original Shantae mm -hmm. for Game Boy Color. Here is one uh, that uh, was sold at $941. Whoo, buddy. Yeah, it's like Earthbound rare. There's some, like, repros uh, that are going, like, that were being sold pretty cheap but yeah for the actual the actual Game Boy Color variant is here's another one that was sold at $921 Jesus uh, this is one that back in October sold these are sold listings too not just like what people are like tr asking for right now this is like stuff that's sold on ebay for this amount yep um this one is for 1299 dollars jeez another one that sold at 990 yeah so there's a yeah, it's it's a spendy title. Uh, it's one I will never own. Uh, but I know I own all of them on Switch. Yeah. And I own all four that you can get on the Wii U on the Wii U. I have Pirate's Curse digitally on 3DS and physically on the 3DS twice so i have a japanese cart from jack and i have a north american release which came out like a year after mm. um and then i also have for half genie hero i have the wii u vita ps4 and switch physical releases and then i also got a digital copy for the Wii U because I was a Kickstarter a Kickstarter backer. I own let's see. Well obviously I own all of them on Switch. Um yeah. let's see. Uh I already said Shantai One. Risky's Revenge I own on uh aside from a uh, 3DS eShop, which was transferred from DSI. Um I own On, I got it on PS4. I know, um, back in 2016, my coworker was like, hey, you're a fan of Shantae, right? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, do you want to buy a copy of Risky's Revenge and Pirate's Curse for PS4? And I was like, uh, fuck yeah. How do you have these? And he was like, I went to a convention and I bought them from a way forward table, but he bought two copies of each. And he just didn't need the extra copies, so he just sold them to me for like 20 bucks each. So I also have Pirate's Curse on PS4. 
um, let's see, Pirates Curse I own on 3DS, Wii U, PS4, Switch, and I think Steam? I don't remember if I have it on Steam. Uh, is there anything else we need to do with Sholmes? Um, because we talked to him about Cosmo's death and he was just kind of like ambiguous about it. Yeah, just show him the photo. Uh, Mr. Drebber? Yep. Drop. Uh oh, he got all serious. Probably has something to do about the hounds of whatever. Mm. If I had to take a guess. I'm dipping my nuggies. Ooh, you got nuggies? Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, where from? Uh, Wendy's, I got their $5 bag thing. Mm, I see. Which comes with nuggies, fries, and then a burger and drink. I got honey mustard dipping sauce. Nice. <laughs> um shit. I'll be right back. Give me like five seconds. Okay. I don't know what I'm supposed to do to fill time, but Jack died. I'm not this far in the game. In fact, I haven't even started the first game, so if Jack were to actually die, I would need his switch to finish this. Oh, no. I'm dead. Yep. Yeah, I'll said rip jack. I was just grabbing, uh, some chapstick. Because my lips were dry. Al said he got the Lin figure today. Nice. Fuck yeah. That's high. Is this, uh, Linda's from Fire Emblem figure? I'm assuming. I don't know of any other Lin character Yeet. that spells their name with one N. Well, nice. spells their name with one N and a Y. Five shillings is what? Like five cents? How that? I'm guessing that's what they mean. Like five coins. I can't imagine it would be five dollars. Or like five pounds. Alright. Oh, we gotta examine it. Kenya shilling. That's not what I want. <laughs> One pound was divided into 20 shillings. Um, so like five nickels, basically. A quarter. Twenty-five cents. What if... What if Ed, Ed, and Eddie were characters in... Oh my god! <laughs> what if Ed, Ed, and Eddie were... Oh my god. <laughs> we 
paid the five shillings already. We're getting our money's worth. I was gonna say, what if Ed and Eddie were characters in an Ace Attorney game? That'd be cool and good. It would fit in too well. Yeah. Yeah, there's no Kev lot for you to examine. Kevin accuses Eddie of dealing or stealing his money, and you need to defend Eddie in court. Hell yeah. But yeah, there's a ton for you to examine in this spot, so have fun with that. Oh boy. How many things are we looking at? Uh, uh one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven things? Oh, that's not too bad. I was expecting, like, twelve. Oh. Well, you still also needed to talk to Sholmes. Hmm. Detail. Let's look at the neck hole. <laughs> g -g 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 Dead guy. approve of our nicknaming scheme for the Brilliant Diamond Nuzlocke. I, I love it. <laughs> Mostly because they're characters from the, these games. Yeah. But, uh, I love it. Yeah, when, we have, we, when we can't think of anything, I just have Jack pick a... or Jack. Al, I pick, have Al pick a Ace and Attorney Ace character. Attorney. Yeah. Will Powers... Armstrong, we have Maya. When do you name a character after Old Bag? Or Pokemon character? Pokemon character? Well, I mean... When we get a piece of shit, I guess. <laughs> the one old lady gym leader from Sword and Shield is Old Bag. <laughs> Just not in personality. Yeah. I knew Cloud would hate it. <laughs> I wish I could have joined. Um, his patch? Nope. Look at his head. His neck might be the only thing we need to do with this part. There's like a lot of like different parts to this we need to hmm. All right. like deal yeah, with. That looks like it's said. What about this guy? Well, let's get a I might do a quick stream tomorrow. Al said I was waiting for Lannon to catch a Badoo for B Barrel so we can name it Laughter Larry Butts. <laughs> None of my encounters have been fucking Badoof. Like, somehow I've been just lucky or unlucky, depending on, you know. In, in Al's, like, case, where he wants me to catch one. Um, I just haven't... It has not been the first unique species encounter on a route. Like, 203 uh -oh. 
Really I got lucky fucking with it. Yeah, I I got lucky on getting Abra. He's got oh, a weird what's eye. His, uh, is he the Terminator? <laughs> I was actually pretty upset at first when fucking the Abra showed up because I was like, oh, this is. I'm not going to be able to catch this. But then I got it. Hmm. It's the Deber. You keep calling him the Deber. Debbie. Little Debbie. Uh, Jack, I had to work so much today. I'm so tired. Damn. I had to drive out to a whole different store and help them. Yeah, that sounds like that sounds like a good stuff. Well. It was fine. They were really slow, um, and it was like a—they're a newer store manager, so they—they they haven't gotten the training to do everything, and their whole staff is pretty new. Um, hmm. Also, my district manager basically gave me a blank check. Hmm. He was like, "You just ask for whatever you want if you do this for me," and I was like, "All right, fuck it, I don't care." This would be fucking easier than working at my store. I had an uneventful day at work. But I, uh, I went to my parents for dinner. Oh, yeah. Had some homemade mac and cheese. It was good shit. Saw Momo. Every time I have visited my parents' house since moving out, and I go downstairs to see Momo, she is sleeping on the exact same box every single time, without fail. She really likes that box. It reminds her of you. I never touched the box, though. The box is on, like, the opposite corner of the basement where my desk was. Hmm. I don't know. She just really liked it because it, like, it was like a cardboard box that had, like, some stuff in it, but not enough to fill all the way up to the top. So, like, the, uh, the, the flaps on top, like, caved just a little bit. And Momo liked that. What kind of horror story is this shit turning out to be? Was he a Zambo? They probably just failed to hang him correctly. Hmm. Drebber. Debbie. Little Debbie. I can't play it because we'll get a fucking copyright strike, but the fucking, the clip that Al posted in the Discord for Mad Ad Nettie, I know, oh shit, I didn't mean to hit A, uh, but the cl the episode where they're, like, trying to figure out, uh, who has the footprint that, like, ruined the, the paper mache heart. That's a good and episode. 
and how it's pretty much a an ace plot attorney. to a yeah, ace attorney plot. feeling back in my feet after this word from our sponsor. <laughs> Fuck, that's good. I remember seeing that episode like when it came out and thinking that was hilarious. I mean, it's still fucking hilarious. Oh, yeah. I rewatched. I, I I forget if I've said this on screen before or like on recording, but I rewatched Ed and Nettie, like all of it plus the movie, as recently as last year, and it's still fucking good. Weren't we naming, or someone was naming audio after Ed and Nettie parts at one? That was right? you. Okay. That's I, what I, I, I I forget what LP, but that was definitely you. And that's why you started doing that, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I would, like, watch the episode that you, like, named the part after, and I'm like, I just feel like watching all of them. You yeah. know. So I did. Okay, Trader, go when you feel like it. Okay. Yeah, I might do a quick stream for uh, Pokemon tomorrow before we record. You could. Um, I could join. Mainly so we can get the Valley Windworks uh, encounter to be Drifloom. Oh yeah, that's a good that's a good idea. Yeah, because I can because uh, didn't get anything because uh, I I you don't have to go in the grass for that that part. Yep. Um, yep. And so I just avoided that. And it was like, well, I can come back for Drifloom if I want that to be it. And so, and tomorrow's Friday, so. How late does it uh, does it spawn? I think it's all day. Hmm. Every Friday, uh, every Friday, one Drifloom will appear in the middle of Valley Windworks. It will only appear after Team Galactic has been vanquished. Uh, I think from from the Valley Windworks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, at level 22 Diamond Pearl or level 15 uh, Platinum. If it is not battled and captured or fainted by the end of Friday, it will disappear until the following week. Yeah, it's just uh, at any point in in uh, in the games. At any point on Friday. Uh, and in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, it is... Uh, <laughs> A 22. camera, but it's so small. It's so... It's a baby camera for babies. It's, like, massive. <laughs> yeah, it's huge. Uh, that's funny. I mean, I guess it's huge by our standards of cameras. I mean, yeah. Ooh, and then we have to go get the honey tree encounter from um, uh, Floroma Meadows. Meadows. So we have a couple of encounters we can get. 
until Cloud's actually ready. Alright. The stream. Because we have to do Kingdom Recome. Uh oh hey Gina. I'm sorry, Gina. Y you have to speak words. Why do you still have that? I don't think the police gave that to you. Yeah, don't fucking break anything. Or break all the things, who cares? Definitely not me. <gasps> He's back. Yay! It's Toby. The only good character. <laughs> Okay, bye. You cannot convince me otherwise. Well, I guess you can convince me that Sholmes is a good character. Sholmes. I believe you. What? Oh. <laughs> or Sholmes. Something tells me he's going to follow us anyway. quick to fucking change his mind. All he cares about is money. Money. Big boy. That's a... That's a laser. Yep. Give <clears throat> a trophy. For some reason, I'm reminded of the prosecutor's trophy and how it was just sitting on Edgeworth's couch. <laughs> and this trophy is just like toppled over on a table. Yeah. A good boy. Oh, hey, Gregson. What? Why are your eyes closed? Maybe he had some hot sauce. And so he's like, Oh, that's spicy. He put some, uh, Frank's Red Hot on his fish and chips. Hell yeah. There's no new summon. Where's my new summon? I mean... I'm not playing... Doke on battle. <laughs> Yay, Gregson is letting us investigate. And some money landing? No. Uh, I I don't have my like card set up with my Google account because no. Now I'll buy Google Play cards at work and get rewards points from that. <laughs> and I I spent like eight dollars 
in, in on Doka Battle earlier this week, so I have I have really nothing to spend money on until they put up some new sale packs. <laughs> Sholmes doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> And neither does Gina. Does anyone? <laughs> My dear fella. I think that's just these two. Well, that is all the British people she knows, so. Well, what about Iris? Yeah, but she's a good girl. I mean, when she wants to be. Yeah, sometimes. A young scientist could wish for no higher honor, and it's just toppled over on the table. Yeah. Shoms. Well, we got a Let's examine it. Very, we got a very prestigious uh, trophy. Text says it's very prestigious. I don't think there's anything else here for us to examine. Just the. For some reason, I thought we would be able to like open it. That has a hidden compartment. What have you been uh, playing? Ace Attorney games. Yes. No plates. Ah, what a pity. What a poopy. <laughs> she was really hoping there would be something special in there. I mean, deep down, didn't you as well? I mean, yeah. <laughs> I simply have to take it apart. That's worrying. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> this is evidence. He's given up having a watch! <laughs> uh, she just takes it apart every single time. Oh, man. That's funny. Oh. And I messed That's up. a bloodstain. 
Yeah, that's why this is evidence. That's why she's not allowed to take it apart. If she does that... I didn't look very closely at that at first. I thought that was just, like, part of the design for the, the black bit. Thought it was a little bit of ketchup? Mmm. Because when I was looking around, I was like, wait a minute. It's only on one side. Alright. Um, we didn't look at this, I guess. This broken piece of glass. It's, uh, broken. Yep. It's glass. That's it. Oh, we can look at the fucking... Just move around the damn birdcage. This thing is huge. Massive. Person size. Yep. It's all messed up on the bottom, though. How the hell are we carrying this with us? I don't know. Well, didn't we have... Was was the entire uh, carriage uh, from Case 3 in, uh, in the first game also yeah, but, in the court record? Yeah, but that was in the courtroom. That was, like, physically actually there. But didn't we also leave the courtroom and it was still in the court record so we could still examine it? I mean, that... We never had an investigation for that one. Oh, that's right. So... It all took place in the well so, uh Ryunosuke so, yeah. has a uh, main character uh anal pocket powers i guess where like... main characters can just what on earth is this <laughs> An aeroplane <coughs> over the sea. Sorry? What? In the aeroplane over the sea? No, he, he said sorry. Okay. So I said story? You said it like a Canadian. E? Do we have Drever in the court record yet? Uh, yes. What's, uh, how old is he? Oh, um... It sucks that we can't get a good look at him. I'm gonna say... 40? Hmm. Al? I'm not sure, honestly. I would have guessed, like, late 40s, but earlier, when Sholmes was describing the wax figure of the younger version of him, Sholmes was like, oh, he looks no older than 20 here. I'm like, wait, how old is he? I'm gonna say 
I'm gonna say 30. I'm gonna say 36. Thir fuck, we all lose. Damn. Oh, I was so close though. Good job, Trader. Trader, Trader gets a fucking chalupa. Because we all oh, suck. I was so close. I have to watch Trader eat a chalupa. I think that's the first person we've all, like, guessed over on. No, that's happened a couple times. Has it? Okay. Yeah. It's the, it's the only one I remember. <laughs> Look at Craigson's fucking smug face. Rip. That, I, if, unless something better comes up, that should be the thumbnail. Alright, we'll see how well it turns out. I took a screenshot of it, so... It should Just be... Depends on where the giant fat number lands. Yeah. Might be right over Shulm's head. Yeah. <clears throat> a noise. Let's investigate. Oh, <gasps> Doggy! Is Toby a bomb-sniffing dog? Um... Sure. Okay. Clump, clump. What the fuck? Is that a horse? No, it's a mouse. My dear Gregson. You know, uh, I think Gregson's, uh... Wow, that was easy. <laughs> wow. I think Gregson's, uh, like, food is actually fish and lint. Because <laughs> it's been in his pockets. Yeah, because he just shoves it right back in his <laughs> fucking pocket. Yeah. So there's one thing that Sholmes is actually talented at at, lockpicking. We knew that. He's done that before. Has he? I mean, that's how they first introduce him. He, like, doesn't he pick the... Or he attempts to pick the lock for... For the... For the room we're in. Or something. That is a bomb. Well, it's a good thing we have a... You know, a bomb sniffing dog or whatever. Elson <laughs> bomb hype. Bomb hype? <laughs> hype up this bomb. Let's go. <coughs> Everything is upside down. What the fuck? But there's footprints up there. Is everyone going to ignore the fucking bomb? Bomb. Blimey! Oh boy. Yeah, uh, can we... Okay, Sholmes is just looking at the bomb. What the hell? It's just a bomb. Who cares, right? 
Not like it does anything. Something rather fascinating. Of this fucking bomb. Yeah, it's fine. Looks fine to me. Oh, I guess I they wouldn't know what a bomb that. looks like. Ryanosuke, anyway. Black coat, white shoes, black hat, Cadillac, yeah. yeah. The boys are time bomb. What is a time bomb? God damn it. We just said. <laughs> oh, it's not a bomb? No, it's fine. Didn't I say that? I mean, I thought you were kidding. Listen, if it was going to explode, we'd already be dead. Well, yeah, but... It could be an inactive bomb. The bomb's inert? Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't like where this is going. Oh boy. I mean, probably. Little Debbie? Little Debbie? What, what's Little Debbie got to do with all this? Oh. Damn, Chris. <laughs> that. That. <laughs> is great. That's a great face. <laughs> oh, man. Yay! Damn, this is the second one in this case. Yeah. Well, we've had, you know, Flip two furniture. meaty investigation parts. That is true. <laughs> like how Susato is just like, yes! yes! It's been so long! Yeah, she hasn't seen one in a while. Yeah. Uh huh. This is old news to us, but, you know. We got to see one yesterday. Whoa. Oh, this is cool. This is like Inception. Remember that one movie? Neither do I. I have still never seen Inception. Well, you're not missing much. Hmm. It's I've, also I've, been like years since I've seen it. I've seen the <laughs> the South Park episode of it, of that parody's Inception with Matt oh, Hasselbeck. That's, that's uh, that's all you need to see.
the anti-gravity device. <laughs> Sholmes, what the fuck? Sholmes is a time bomb. <laughs> I've witnessed precisely this scene in a dream I once had when I fell out of bed. This is literally Inception. <laughs> Missing engineer. Uh, for funsies. Hmm? I choose to believe that this is the plot to Inception. <laughs> I mean, if Herlock Sholmes was actually in Inception, the movie would be like 11 out of 10. They just take fucking Sholmes from this game, slap him into that movie. Retroactively add him to a movie that came out in 2009. Yeah. I loved the camera work in this one. It's usually pretty solid camera work, but no, this has definitely been a good, 10 out of 10. Good shit. Escaped via the skylight. Alright, now let's figure out what actually happened. <laughs> Gina was not paying attention. Nope. Completely spelled out. I would expect nothing less. You're destined to be troubled by just one thing for the rest of your life. Damn. That's so rude. Hmm. So, no, not possible at all. Susato. <laughs> I 
<laughs> minor corrections. Yeah, minor. We'll call them minor corrections. Logic and reasoning spectacular. Course correction. Hold it, Mr. Sholmes. Yes. <laughs> oh. Goodness. Well, I'm pretty convinced by the explanation. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Sholmes. Hmm. We have a large safe. Is there anything else around the safe? that next to the bed right there? The flowers? The... Ah! Well, well! <laughs> to be honest, Mr. Naruhoto, no. No, not at all. Take that! That thing. Whoa, whoa. What? No way. No. Now My he's... deepest sympathies for your loss. Oh, he's upset. <laughs> They're just watching it rise.
Still no. <laughs> oh. That looks interesting. That's convenient. <laughs> Who just does that? Who writes that? Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Underneath a chair. Yeah. Very convenient. Well... bomb has nothing to do with this. Fucking rip. It's true. I mean, he eventually found it, though, which means it was one of the last... It would have had to have been one of the last things he checked. Mm-hmm. Better, it was one of the first things he overturned and just, uh, missed it. <laughs> That'd be Although, funny. I don't know how you'd miss that. It's... yeah, it's massive. Unless you're blind. What if he's colorblind? Mm. What if that tinfoil hat theory, what if he's colorblind and that comes into play because of the uh, the colors of the balloons? Fair. Fair enough. What if he was trying to kill the rich kid? <laughs> All right. There's a sh what the fuck? Okay. There's the whole shoe up there. Just, just a fucking shoe. I don't even need to look at it. Look at the shoe. He just chucked it up there. If I had to fucking guess.
Oh dear. Uh, go for it, Sholmes. Do what you need to, dude. You think so? No. Yeah, the crossbow. Take that! Yeah, we got a thing that shooties, so... And we just found ammo for it. Yeah. Holy shit. How? Why? Oh shit. Well. What the fuck is going on in this case? I don't know. There's a there's, there's a, a there's a lot going on in this case. There's like a thingy that can teleport people, but not really, and apparently Hairbrain's being paid for it. Uh, there's a wax museum that matters. Uh, there's a, just a fucking head inside a replica balloon. <sighs> Boy. This case is a lot. You bet I was drunk for that one time, so I don't I don't understand anything. Damn. Yeah. Even like reading through the strategy wiki, I I don't understand any of this shit. Oh man. I'll miss his drunk Landon. Well, I got a bottle of gin. Evil Kappa. I got a bottle of gin and a bottle of blackberry liqueur. But I open tomorrow, so no. Yeah, gross. What in the goddamn? What do you mean, what in the goddamn? Mr. Jervis' hiding place must be... The wardrobe? Or the no. safe? Yes. Why else would he overturn everything if he was just gonna, you know, hide in the wardrobe? Mm -hmm. To throw them off, of course. Mm. See, but if he was really smart, he would he would have like ripped off the bottom of that chair and took that with him. Yeah. Let's open that bad boy up. Yeah. 
Inside the safe. Solved. So good at this game. Yeah, let's open the safe. Four, three, two, five, eight, two. Yeah, there he is. He looks like fucking Maximilian Pegasus. <laughs> Ooh, Rienosuke boy. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Why? What the fuck? There he is. Why did that happen? He's got a weird clockwork hand. Al said that was something. The bomb. Why is he a robot? Gearing up. God. God. Little Debbie. What the fuck? It was actually going to blow up? It turns out it was a real bomb. What the fuck? <laughs> And it was active. Like, they didn't hear it ticking. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to the robot. Beep boop. Damn Sholmes. <laughs> Just tightly squeezed chips. <laughs> uh. the theme that's playing right now I can't hear all it very I, well all I hear is silence I cannot hear it super well
Hmm. <laughs> and they chose to stick around. I calculated the time required to retreat for a safe distance. They actually... <laughs> it's something wrong, Gregson. <laughs> Oh, God. Sholm's actually almost got them killed. Oh, man. How am I not surprised? There's a bomb. There's a bomb, though. Huh. Or Gregson. Old acquaintance. Ooh. Why, does Sh Why does Sholmes know everyone? Because he's famous. He's a world famous detective. True. This is another one of Sholmes' exes. Damn. Is everyone not one of Sholm's exes? I mean, it seems like he'll live, uh, he'll let just about anyone live at Iris's house, so. <laughs> Poor Gregson. Poor Gregson. All he's trying to do is his job. Cook, cook, cook. Someone needs to oil him. <laughs> uh. Um. Uh, uh oh. Also, why is Gina just holding it? Oh shit, is there another bomb? And we all died. What the fuck? Kaboom.
Fuck. Wow, this guy sucks. To be continued. Damn. That's a that's a hell of a cliffhanger. For the next part. And we will be right back. Oh, uh, okay. I'm back. What's up, Al? What's up, VOD audience? <sighs> I guess the glad it's not back yet. <sighs> Excuse me. How was everybody's day? Audience. People that are now. And people that are Al, if he's here. I don't know if he's here even. Ugh. So that was a pretty fucky part that just happened in the story. What's up with that? This dude's an asshole. All alone. <laughs> I'm going to admire my Shantae box. Good shit. Shoutouts to Limited Run Games just for doing what they do. What'd you say? 
Nothing. I'm just talking to myself. I was waiting for you to come back. I was looking at my Shantae box. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I just got done pissing. Nice. So, I got... an Arizona. Mm. <sighs> Hell yeah. I don't think Al is back yet. So... Ooh. Traders here. Traders here. See now, if Al was back, we would have the trader hype in the chat. We would have trader hype in the chat. But no one's here to hype you up, trader. <sighs> no one gives a shit. Especially trader. Me. Komodo. There we go. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, uh, home all day, except I... So that part in the story, it's pretty fucky. Yeah, that was kind of kind of messed up. The guy's an asshole. Yeah. Something tells me he might have something to do with this. If I if I had to guess, something tells me he's definitely a fucking murderer. Yeah. I wonder where Al ran off to. So I'll put the game back on screen. Nine eleven, never forget. What? What? What am I supposed to remember? Nine eleven. I don't. I don't. I don't get it. Nah. it like a, it's like an off-brand Seven Eleven. Um. Yeah. Al's back. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yo, what up, Hairbrain? <clears throat> Yo, what up, Sholmes? You were getting some soda. What kind of soda? Yo, what kind of soda you got? Boyo? Better be fucking good. You better have brought some to share. Oh, Haritos. Haritos. Good, good shit. Damn. Good soda. Alright. You get a pass. Yeah. Wait, what flavor? This is important. Most of them are good. But... Some are better than others. Lime. Lime is the classic. That's a good good choice. Pretty much every Haritos flavor is great, except for Tamarind. Tamarind sucks. But everything else is good. I like Mandarin. Mandarin is solid. There's a, uh, a local Mexican restaurant that I like to go to that sells uh, bottles of Haritos and they're the only place that I know where you can find grapefruit flavored mm. and it's fucking good Jack what time are you off work tomorrow? I get off at 7 same as it ever was so I can be home and ready to go by like probably 7.45 ish so 8pm would probably be, like, the best time to start. Well, I don't get off until 6.30 my time. Yeah, okay. 
so it'll be late gotcha and it won't be very long so i'll definitely be ready this is my victory who is it oh hey gregson what's up I think it's... Maybe it's not Grapefruit I was thinking of. It might be a... Might be a different one that I was thinking of. I do love Grapefruit, though. That shit is delicious. <clears throat> Paperwork. Oh shit, that's important. Sounds like uh, we'll probably record uh, shortly after I get home. And then stream? More. And then stream, yeah. Okay. Uh, because Cloud is getting his booster shot tomorrow. Hmm. And uh, he's not entirely sure how, how well he's going to feel. And, you know, wants to be able to go to bed as soon as he can. Yeah. So, um, I mean, we'll probably only do the Kingdom Hearts videos. Uh, so, we might be able to start at like 8 or 9, 8.30 to 9 for the stream. Uh, Pacific time, I should say. So, like, 11.30 midnight for, your, for you. Yeah. Just depends on how long the uh, two specific videos we need to do for this week. Oh boy. We'll make a, like a formal announcement. When we get a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'll go look and see what the length of those videos are. <clears throat> what other Haritos flavors are good? Oh, pineapple is good. Pineapple is a good one. What are we on? <gasps> five and six? He's there. There he is. <clears throat> uh, five and six for what? Uh, Kingdom Hearts Recom. Uh, yes. Uh, let's see. Part 5 is 33 minutes. Part 6 is 32 minutes. Mm -hmm. So, by the time I get home and feed Trader, it'll be like 7-ish our time. And then uh, once we once we actually get set up and everything, so it'll be close to about about 8 p.m. my time. So yeah, it'll be about. Oh my about. god, that's awesome! So it'll be about uh, 11:30, about midnight.
even though they weren't the ones that found him. It was us that found him. I think... I don't think we're going to get through the whole trial uh, before we end tonight. Probably not. We got, uh, like, I, maybe an hour left. Uh, I think we can at least get through this part of the trial. Wah! Uh, because we have two parts to it. Cloud, what are you doing here? Oh, you caught. We're, uh, playing Ace Attorney. Great Ace Attorney 2. She is hammering away at that corn on the cob. Al says, yay, Cloud. Yay, Al. It exploded. Yeah, it's uh, gone. He just has a gun in his he, hand. He had a gun last time. I know, but... Yeah, he just, he just has it. He just has it out. Okay. Why not? <laughs> I know he's a policeman or whatever, but you'd think he'd put that away. Nah, it's on theme. Yes, it will. Hmm. Nah, it's fine. We'll just wait till Star Trek actually invents a teleportation machine. Please stop clawing me. Objection. Fraudsters. Fraudsters. Oh, already. Yeah, oh, just get him the there. engineer. Get him yeah. thrown up. This guy is a robot? Yeah. We don't like him. Uh, he just tried to explode a lot of people. Yeah. Also, he has dance moves, apparently.
also, he talks like, Ooh, Kaiba boy. Because he looks like Maximilian Pegasus. I was actually going to say that he just kind of reminds me of uh, Sephiroth directly after Cloud threw him off the reactor side. As long as Sephiroth also sounds like, Ooh, Kaiba boy. Kaiba boy. He That's might have funny. sounded like that around that time. He was pretty fucked up from that. Like, Cobb tossed him off the side of a reactor and he fell like hundreds of feet with his own sword sticking out of him. Nah, yeah, he was fine. He could walk it off. I think he's my least favorite. <laughs> Damn. We've had some pretty nasty characters. This guy is pretty nasty. Yeah. I think this is my least favorite from these two games. And I'm including Edgar Benedict. Edgar Benedict was also a fucked up individual. Yeah, who was an absolute piece of shit. But at least he didn't dance at me at all moments. <laughs> Aggressively dancing at you. Yeah. I mean, Edgar Benedict danced a lot, to be fair. Oh yeah, but it wasn't as disconsistent. All of his movements are just unnecessary. He's winding himself up so he can get the answers. Required body double. Tell me the twin. The specter saw the barricade appear above their heads and the crash head first into the crystal tower. This guy's just a TikToker. That's why his moves are so extravagant and exaggerated. Uh, now I hate him even more. Al, Al <laughs> says that at least at least Egger had McGriddle killed. That so, is true. And McGriddle so he, was a bigger piece of shit than Egger. Yeah. Eggert is, or not Eggert, uh, McGriddle is probably still the most despicable character, but at least he didn't dance. Yeah. <laughs> the dancing is extra points. He does look like he would be a fucking TikToker. Don't you hate that I've given you this information now? He didn't have a twin, but the the wax the wax figures. No, it's fine. The wax figures. I don't think that's where we need to focus right now. No. Oh. It'll come up. Don't don't you worry. Hey, that's our trophy. Yeah, I stole, I mean, found it. <laughs> I 
I hate it when he fucking like pulls up a smile like that. Yeah. It's a creepo. What an awful piece of work. Oh, I get it. Piece of work, like clockwork. Huh. Eh, eh. It's funny. I hate you. <laughs> um, what did you say, Lennon? Um, go to statement four. I think that's where it was. Because we, we already examined the uh, birdcage, and the damage was on the bottom of it, right? Oh, yeah, duh. So oh, just... right there he says it gets crashed head first. Yep, so we can just present it, right? Yeah, we should be able to. Yep, that was easy. And that's why I was, like, looking at his testimony the first time through, because I was like, oh. Yeah, you fucker. No, it's the correct hey. place where it should be. He's just lying to you. Guys, I'm gonna crack open a cold one. Do it. This uh this cold one is sun kissed orange. Hell yeah. I used to drink an unhealthy amount of Sunkist when I was in high school. Sunkist is good. It is. It's kind of a shame that Fanta replaces it a lot of the time in stores, but when you get to find Sunkist, it's a magical moment. Hey Jack, guess what I'm doing? What is that? Biking back and forth between Mauville and the daycare route so I can hatch eggs for a living, Dax. Oh boy. Time to start moving stuff up to Gen 4. They're just going back and forth. He's malfunctioning. fuck you talking about? No, he's fucking full of shit. But it wasn't a trick. It was a trick it lobster. lobster. <laughs> God damn it. I knew you were gonna go, go there. How did you know? How did you read my mind? It was the way you said it. But it wasn't a trick.
Jack is a robot, guys. He can read people's minds. Um, the fucking picture of the balloons? Uh, I don't think so. Or like the, the uh, this clearly this. took uh took place because there's nowhere else thirty, 30 feet, feet high from the birdcage to have fallen from the balloon. <laughs> am I, am I stupid? Uh, go to the. I just want to look at the new photo real quick. This one? Or, no, the one over here. We haven't actually looked, taken a chance to look at this properly. Got a big fat hole. That's... Uh, I'm thinking... I mean... Let's, I guess let's assume, uh, what you said, uh, and like point, uh, we could point at the fact that the man inside the cage was a waxwork dummy. Okay. And so uh, the, the actual murder took place in the crystal tower, but in order to move the bird cage, they drop it through that hole. Wait a minute, the Crystal Tower, what is this, Final Fantasy 3? Yes. Yes. Does oh, that make shit. sense? Um, like, yes. And that would be why there'd be damage on the bottom of the birdcage. So... Just because they just dropped it straight through that platform, which if you go back to, like, the, like, picture of where the balloons were... Oh, yeah. The, the towers like uh, go to the the other one the the diagram that showed like the the crystal tower and everything the experiment that's like that would be about thirty feet so if they just drop that um so that might be why there's damage on the birdcage there I don't know so would it be the sketch or the photograph right I, I'm gonna say it's probably the the photograph if I had to if I had yep. to pick one. Nope, never mind. No, 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 no. Hmm. Which statement were we on? Uh, number four. Hmm. So the diagram, maybe? Objection. maybe there we the go. Sketch. Yeah. See, that's what I thought. Okay. You're smarter than I am, don't worry. Smarter than the average bear. I was probably like 20 steps ahead to use the other photo to show that. Top of the tower. Yeah. Yes, yeah, that's your, where your theory is what. That's my theory. <clears throat> it's about tree fitty.
splat. Once again, my lord, I am fucking bawling. Now what are you gonna do, Bonzeeks? Cry in the corner with your new boyfriend? Get even more hammered? Yes. Stop dancing at us, please. Yeah, Jesus. He's putting on a show for Al. Al, he's are you enjoying early. the show? He's a, he's a little too early for that. He, he's only supposed to violently dance when he's lost completely. Yeah. But Al says he's enjoying it, so... Damn. <laughs> oh, no. I told you, Al is, Al is Mojo Jojo. Wild assertions... Fuck you, Von Zeeks. I just remembered what Von Zeeks said about, like, think about how much... Think about all of the work that goes into making these chalices when you make those stupid statements in court. And yeah. you force me to break them. That's your fault. It's your fault they have to work so hard. Shut up, Bonzi. It's like gas. It's like gaslighting him. Yeah. I was gonna say, yeah, that's that's absolutely gaslighting. Uh you could also just not break them. I think he just enjoys oh. breaking them. Yeah. Do you think the sound of glass shattering is like a fetish for him? Ooh, probably. Yeah, he listens. He listens to like the first couple seconds of Stone Cold Steve Austin's theme on loop all the time. Oh, yeah? What's that? Oh. Oh, that sucks. Hmm. And yet, he still murdered, anyway. He still did it. But why, though? We just have to prove that he did it. 
We know he did it. It's gotta be like revenge or something. Or he was being offered more money for his for this man's death. Oh, could be. What's that? True. Oh, fuck your cuh, cuh, cuh. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Objection. Objectioned. Mm. Oh, it was really nice. I didn't hear it super. My TV is kind of quiet, so... I'm not stupid. I mean, I'm a little stupid, but I'm not that stupid. That was obvious by the text that was used for the objection. Because that's his objection. Well, I guess sometimes other folks use, use it. Yeah, some people say objection. But a lot of times it's like specific to a character like when von zeek says objection oh this is like black and white white stuff i was gonna say yeah i thought his his was, on. i thought his was the only ones was the only one that was different mm. maybe i don't know objection They should give everyone a unique objection. Trico hatched from the egg. Yay. Welcome to the world, Trico. Hmm. Can we name the accomplice? I think so. Let's go... Oh, oh okay. That works, too. Um, let's go through the court record real quick and, uh, just kind of decide ahead of time. Um, no, uh, uh, I don't think Balloon Man and, uh, Loud Boy have anything to do with this. So, really, the only people we can look at are a witch mommy. No. Um, I guess, what's her face from the scientific division? Oh. Hmm. And, um, I guess Harebrain. But we can rule out Harebrain because Harebrain didn't uh, do it. Yeah, Harebrain is innocent. That's what yeah. we're trying to prove, so. And, um... Witch Mommy's too cute. <sighs> yeah. So, I mean, that really just leaves us with... Her. 
her this fucker character. So let's save just in case. Yeah. Even though we already said we could, but that's what I'm feeling. I feel like we can. And I think the only person who could have switched the bird cages would be her, since she leads the scientific investigation team. Oh, yeah. Like, what, is, what does Witch Mommy have to do with this, aside from run the wax museum? Yeah, we don't quite know yet, so... So, yeah, I think... I think the only reason, like, she exists to be, like, the owner of the museum and also to be, because, you know, wax figures, they presumably stole a figure. Yeah, or something. So, I, the wax figure stuff will take, take place, I'm sure, but yeah, I don't think she is actually involved in the, the murder. Yeah, this is the right option. It definitely feels like it. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't put this much th thought into mm -hmm. it if it wasn't. Uh, turn the TV off. Please. Rip TV. It's still on. We just turn it down. Thank you. But it's Law and Order SVU. That's nice, but these also go up on YouTube. Yeah. You guys don't want to LP Law and Order SVU? Uh, I don't want to get a copyright strike. Yeah. Damn, you guys can't play along with any of my jokes. I mean, we can let's play Law and Order SVU when they do a, a Phoenix Wright sexual abuse case. Damn. When's the, uh... When's the, uh... Dateline NBC video game <laughs> where you play as Chris Hansen? I'm Chris Hansen. I'm Chris Hansen. And welcome back to Datelines to Catch a Predator. God damn it. I want to throw you around like a football. And that's just the start. Is that any way to talk to a little baby boy? is one of the greatest videos ever made. It is. Yeah, we have the answer. Come on, Ryanosuke. Present evidence? Uh, um, go, go to the court record. Mm-hmm. Do we have something? Oh yeah, we have the head. We never really we looked at head. it. Let's take a... I don't think there's much to see. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we can look but... at the clock. Oh.
But yeah, I feel like uh, I feel like this is what we need to present because we need to make the case that waxwork that was a waxwork dummy. <laughs> All right. All right. Present evidence. Filibuster. We'll do, do no such thing. Do you know what that word means? Uh... Uh... Nobody knows what that word means. I definitely don't know what words mean. Like any of them. The body double inside the second birdcage was... A wax word. You can do it, Reno. Okay. I also would probably throw up thinking about saying that the body double was a wax work. That thing right there. Why is it there in the courtroom? Just to have fun. <laughs> it was a gross hand. Objection. When the Objection, fuck did Your that Honor. get here? No. <laughs> what are you playing at? Professor. Yeah, now that you mentioned all this out loud. None of this makes but sense. Why? Never mind. He's nervous. We found the head at his... at his, uh, place. Uh, do you think the professor's actually... Our man that died. Anything's possible. Hmm. Good. Well, obviously, by his reactions, he's guilty. So, ergo, let's get tacos. You know, if I was on the jury, I'd believe that tale. Objection. 
Oh boy, we're gonna do a a, a, a thing. Yes. A thing. A summation examination. Ooh. Guilty. Guilty. Yeah, we Guilty. should be able to get through this, uh, but that'll probably be the end of the stream. That She's gonna use her piece of corn. <laughs> oh boo. Oh, oh. I thought she was gonna slam it down on the table. Yeah, I thought she was gonna do that too. Use her corn as her fucking fist. Corn fist. Get ready for corn fist. Yeah. Hell yeah. Also, the child definitely sounded like an absolute child. Absolute child. Oh my goodness. Why is there a child on the jury? I don't know. Why does she have so much corn? Good for you. Hmm. I guess. Do you think we could maybe get some of that corn? Uh, well, it's as likely as we're gonna get some of the corn as... <laughs> Waluigi um, says, fuck the cops. Uh, uh... It's as likely as we're gonna get some of that corn as we would get some fish and lint from... Gregson. Uh, Gregson. Damn it. Well, I guess, uh... Guess we're going hungry, boys. Yeah, none of us want a fucking taco or Baja Blast earlier, so we're all fucked. Speaking of, I tried to order Taco Bell through DoorDash, and apparently they were closed, but they had their thing on so they could still receive orders. Oh. Well, what's the point of that? I don't know. I already decided what it is, guys. Whatever the... the murdered... its name is, I forget. Was the convicted felon the professor. Case closed. Let's get drunk. Uh, I've already decided that. Let's well, do it. Uh, Obviously, we need to talk to Waluigi first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Hold it! <laughs> and they don't take kindly to that. <laughs> Why are you doing that? There's literally a child sitting next to you. Please put the gun away. Yeah, what's your beef? <laughs> 
Damn, why is Waluigi so based? <clears throat> That's not her name. Shit, not the maiden name. Have we seen that name somewhere recently? Um... Stevens? Oh, like, 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 they don't even have his whole name, it's just Bohemian Boy. <laughs> yeah, because he's so fucking, his name's so fucking ridiculous. Stevens, huh? Yeah. Do we have, like, a piece of... Oh, you know what? You know what it probably is. Oh, no, nope, never mind. Courtney Stevens. Yeah, she's on there, Death but... By hanging. Death hmm. by Hanging confirmed at midnight. I thought it would be like 7th. the name of the uh, the professor, but his name is redacted. Oh, yeah, no. Hmm. I think that's the I think that's the only thing. Oh, well he just said you would trust whatever what anything with Ste uh, when Courtney Stevens had her name on it so uh, she she lied about the hanging oh yeah 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 it was Courtney Stevens back when I knew of okay, okay. Uh, I guess we just go through all the statements real quick. Just press everything. Well, just uh, produce through them real quick. The wax workman stole nothing to do with the corner. Oh, well, no, we know it has to do with the corner. Because we have the, the coroner's name, and we have the, the piece of evidence that links them, so yeah. Yeah, there we go. You see, I live in a society. We all do. Uh. Damn. It really be like that. It really do be like that. Bottom text. Topsy report. Ba bam. Take that.
This is all most extraordinary. <laughs> she she doesn't even think she doesn't even necessarily think that he's innocent. She just wants to see the trial keep going. It's too interesting. We did a kind of part partly. We still need to do more. Um, I've seen <clears throat> I've seen no rigorous proof that this wax wolf was ever inside the bird cage. It's conjecture. Um. Hmm. there for a second. Oh, shit. You're pressing on juror number four now? Yeah. Okay. Rip Landon's internet. Says yeah. Al. Thank you, Al. Can we prove that the waxwork was inside the birdcage? Uh, uh, open up the court record. Go to the birdcage. Hmm. What was the thing we found in the waxwork? Um that piece of glass oh yeah oh, oh and it's from the crystal tower yep yep okay. we do. that's right for some reason I was like thinking maybe that came from the uh, like was it in the bird cage or, like something that was like was a glass was in the bird cage but yeah that works Namely, this thing. Take that. What? What do you want? Yeah, change your statement. Yeah. Well, what's his statement? The presence of that piece of glass leaves me a little doubt. Um... God, juror number five is just a child. Um. So now what? Um. What? What is juror number four's full statement? Uh, give me a second, and yeah. I'll tell you. I don't 
um, the statement is that I'm going to head off for the night. Sure. Enjoy the rest of your stream, gentlemen. Well, it's going to be over here in a moment, so but thank you. Uh, okay, the pre... Go back to juror number four. Was indeed inside that birdcage. Okay, and then juror number five. Accusing someone without right evidence is... Well, we have evidence now. Because we can link that the uh, the waxwork was there. Objection. It just took me a half hour to read the small child's text. Yay, we did it. Oh, I just realized my mic was muted that whole time. God damn it. Yeah, I was wondering why you didn't say anything. I was saying, um... This fucking absolute child... Why is she here? Who let her on the bench? I don't know. I did. I wanted to get out of jury duty. Fucking Colonel Cobb. Fucking Colonel Cobb, man. Well, that sucks. I wish I had known my mic was muted. Someone heard you. Hmm. I heard me. But literal <laughs> but literally no one else did. What about your roommate? She's asleep. She subconsciously heard you. Shut up, traitor. Trader probably heard you. Yeah. Harumph. <laughs> Yay. Oh, hell yeah. Which mommy? Which mommy? I'm gonna get up here in a second. The stream's almost over. Um. Okay. Fe okay. Oh. Well, you already know, then what's the fucking point? We should... we should be allowed to do this, then. Yeah. To be continued, yay! Yay! Good timing to end the stream. We...
only have one more part of trial to go, and then we're done with oh. this case. Oh, for real? Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. All right. There's only only the last bit of the trial, and then we only have one more case for the whole game that's split between two episodes. Wow. Yeah. All right. We're uh, done for the night. Back next week with more. Should be usual time next week, right? Tuesday, Thursday? Um, Subject to change. Subject to change because I have to take family photos on Thursday. I... Uh, and the start time for that is at 5.30. I see, I see, I see. So... Uh... I mean, we could probably still do it, and then I might just end up being a little late again. Hmm. Uh, we'll see. Okay. All yeah. right. Thanks for joining, Al. Uh, Cloud's not going to hear this, so I don't need to thank him for joining. would thank him if he would join using his normal fucking mic. Yeah, that'd be nice. Oh, well. Um. Yeah. Uh, that's all for tonight. Bye. Bye.